That's so good. That is so good. That's exactly what I told Freddie Freeman when he's coming up. You know, we got those those AstroTurf mats in the in the cages and whatnot, and they got the plate and those two lines on the inside corner. And I go, Freddie, I want you to take that knob right down. And the bat path is just, just follows and it's fluid and you're, you stay inside of everything. You get you arc around that white line, things are gonna go sideways. But man, that that that's good stuff. You're, you're doing the right thing as far as uh, keeping those guys inside the, the, the baseball and, and promoting good bat path. You know, you see guys hitting like Freddie Freeman, and most recently you can tell Austin Riley took a change with his approach at the plate. You know, and he had a hell of a year this past season. But you could see they started or Austin started using the entire field. And that's what allowed him to start being that better hitter. And the averages started to go up and the power numbers uh, went up as well. Well, Austin, Austin, we didn't change anything mechanically with Austin. There's nothing wrong with Austin's swing. We just changed his sights. We, you know, as opposed to, to, to trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark from left center field to the foul pole, like we were talking about earlier. We got a huge State Farm sign in right center field, right there in the middle of our bullpen. And I'm like, Austin, I'm telling you, if you try and knock down that State Farm sign, every single pitch, a couple of things are going to happen. Your contact point's going to pick up because you're going to let the ball travel. You're going to, uh, you're, you're going to, you're going to, uh, your bat path is going to stay in the zone longer. Therefore, you're going to make more contact. Secondly, your chase rate on pitches outside the zone is going to go down. Why? Because you're allowing the ball to travel. Now that slider that's off the plate that's been giving you trouble, you see it now because your sights have changed. You're not flying open to try and get the head out to hit it to left. You're letting it travel and trying to hit it out to right. Now your chase rate goes down. You've seen his his strikeouts go down, his walks go up for just for the simple fact of changing his sights from left center to right center. When I was right, I learned from from the big three pitchers and Leo Mazzoni. What's the first thing he said every pitcher's meeting? We are going to own the fastball on the outside corner for strike one. That's their approach, all right? And these are the best guys in the game. Then what am I doing sitting here trying to trying to pull balls? All right? right, I need to make that pitch on the outside corner. I'm better off when I get extended, get extension anyway. So why do I not make that outside corner my strength? And I take that away from every single pitcher that tries to get ahead of me with a fastball away first pitch. That's good exactly. point. And that that's the exact approach that we're teaching our players, especially at a young age. As you get more advanced, your approach changes to like sections of the plate and whatnot. But, you know, as a young player, what really helped me was I'm looking for that fastball away to drive away, to drive off that right center field wall, and I react to anything inside. And if you can have that approach, that's what allowed me to go from a 180 hitter to a Division I All-American in just three years, is I really bought into that approach. When I first start working with a player, we go straight to the tee. And we go straight to, we set it up on the outside corner of the plate where we're mimicking that outside fastball. And... You know, one of the big, I'm a visualization guy and I try to simplify things. So, you know, whenever you're hitting on the mat, you have that white line that goes right down the mat, right in front of you, right? I tell my players, I want you to drive your hands right down that line on that mat. Because if you can simplify it just like that, just drive your hands down that mat, the barrel is going to naturally follow through the zone inside that ball. and You're going to get that proper extension, hit that hard line drop to the opposite field gap. So that's like the number one thing I'll do with my players when I first start working with them. That's so good. That is so good. That's exactly what I told Freddie Freeman when he's coming up. You know, we got those those AstroTurf mats in the in the cages and whatnot, and they got the plate and those two lines on the inside corner. And I go, Freddie, I want you to take that knob right down. And the bat path is just, just follows and it's fluid and you're, you stay inside of everything you get. You arc around that white line, things are going to go sideways. But, man, that, that, that's good stuff. You're, you're doing the right thing as far as uh, keeping those guys inside the, the, the baseball and, and promoting good bat path. If you want to watch the full 40-minute video of this clip here, 
go ahead and click the button down below or click our link in bio and sign up for the five day perfect swing blueprint where we show you exactly step by step how to build the perfect swing in just five days. And we have guest speakers Chipper Jones, Mark DeRosa and Wes Helms coming in to show you how they were so successful because they had 47 years combined in the major leagues between those three guys. So if you want to learn how to build the perfect swing for free in just five days, go ahead and click the button down below or click our link in bio and sign up for the five day perfect swing blueprint. And I'll see you inside.